Hey, what's up guys? This is Mark from Fish in the 509. Happy Senko de Mayo to you guys. Today, I just decided I was gonna do something a little bit fun and uh, show you guys how I fish with some stick baits in honor of Senko de Mayo. So, I'm on the kayak today. We're just gonna go out and uh, see if we can catch any fish. And I uh, just wanna show you the way I fish it, how I fish it, and uh, hopefully you can learn something from it. Um, this is a bait or style of fishing where you can catch pretty much numbers and numbers of fish using just this tiny plastic worm. Um, if you're new to the sport, you're new to bass fishing, you have small kids you want to take out to go fish for bass, this is the, uh, basically this is the best thing you can use for starters. And so uh, we'll get this dude tied on and we have a couple hours, we'll see how many fish we can catch. So, you're probably asking, what makes the dang stick bait so versatile? You know, basically it's just this little wiggly worm. You can see that. I'm gonna show you guys how I rig it. And the way that we're gonna rig it is called a wacky rig. So basically what you're gonna do, you're just gonna take that worm and then you're just gonna hook it more or less in the middle of this bait. Right down the middle. You're kind of left with this presentation. When you cast this into the water, this, for some reason, there's this motion that this bait gives off in the water that uh, the fish go absolutely crazy for. You can call Sankos, they're called stick baits, but whatever you call them, regardless almost of the company and brand, you will catch fish. Hey, Doki. Let's move, find some fish. Alrighty. Oh, are you kidding? Did you just see that, dude? The Senko just freaking popped off right here in the water. That's the bad thing about Senkos. Yeah, one thing, be prepared to uh, spend, it's almost like a pack a trip. All right, I'm gonna go back. And the nice thing about Senkos, I mean, they're not too expensive. People, they are the, you know, some of the more expensive stick baits. But just the ingredients that Mr. Yamamoto made just so happened to perfect it and we are doomed to buy it. But I do fish other brands for sure. There's one right off the bat, you see that? Feels like a nice one. Oh yeah, it's a, it's a solid fish, yo. Look at that. Nice fish right there. Look at that. That's where you throw the Sanko, people. Like, look at this fish. It's a nice fish right here, man. Really nice fish. Solid fish. Hey, bud. All right, I'm just gonna... That was a nice little fish to start out the day. This little dude just came out of nowhere and hit this thing. Little dude, but I mean, we caught him. Another little guy. And then we did, if you noticed, we lost another Senko. So, we are burning through some baits right now, but we are catching fish at the cost of fish, which is not a bad trade if you ask me oh yeah love all this wind that just decided to pick up look at this look at this look at that wind it just came out of nowhere holy cow dude i'm like gonna get hit up on the side of this stuff right here holy smokes this is one of the cons of Wacky Rig is you get little weeds and stuff. And uh, But again, 
it's almost like its productivity outweighs any cons that can happen with this bait. They probably just love this lay down right here. Got one. Nice one. Nicer one. Look at that. Look at that. That's a nice fish, dude. That fish putting up a fight right now. Oh, look at that, dude. That's a solid fish. Another solid little little tank fish right here. Look at that, dude. Again, I just missed a tiny little shriveled up fish and then, you know, you go and you catch just one of these one pounders, man. Definitely makes everything better. He must have been hiding up in this structure right here. Gorgeous, gorgeous fish though. Check them out. There's probably just tons of fish in this kind of stuff right here. See ya, bud. There's one. Oh! There's one. That was weird. That fish kind of... Look at that fight of that fish, yo. Look at that, dude. It's a nice fish. Another nice fish. He's hanging out in this shallow water, dude. This water's like... I don't know. This water is... Probably about a foot, foot and a half. Oh man, this dude choked this thing too. It's another solid fish, man. On the Senko. Senko magic, yo. See ya, bud. It's the real deal, people. Throw this. If you wanna have a good time, throw this. It's like cheating. It's like cheating fishing right here. Fishing's not supposed to be this easy. Take your kids. Use a Senko. It's a blast, dude. Oh my god, dude. Holy, did you see that bird, dude? I think you got probably just a close-up of me. Holy cow, that bird scared the crap out of me. Darn you, goose, dude. You know, the Senkos come in many, many different colors, you know. You can get them in, you know, this is a different brand. This is Yum, black and blues, greens. You can even get them like in pink and white and swirls. Um, I'm not going to throw the Gary's brand, but I'm going to throw some. This brand is called Yums. Some Yums. Right underneath this fish, there's another big fish. I'm kind of watching this happen. This was probably the male. Darn, the female was. She's right underneath us right now. Let's see if I can throw this dude. Nice fish. Throw him back subtly. And then we're going to throw a cast to the, what I believe is the female. Let's see if I can entice her. Right at the edge of that weed line, dude. I just decided, you know what? I want to cast out. You know, it's pretty flat here. And this dude, this dude got it, man. That was cool. I tried something different. Never really, uh, never really cast out right there. And sure enough, one cast. It's all about experimenting, trying something different. That was cool. It's really cool. There's a nice one. Oh my gosh. Maybe too much drag. You know, there's not a lot. We don't have much longer um, out here. 
Hope you learned something new. We're just gonna fish a little bit more. Catch some decent fish out here and that's all on the Senko. So uh, yeah, like I said, people, it's all in the stick bait, dude. If you really want to uh, fish and have fun doing it, the stick bait is where it's at. Let me get you guys a close up of this bait, but I'm throwing this dude right here. Get these dudes, Cinco de Mayo, go buy some. Throw these guys. If you want to catch fish, if you want your kids to catch fish, throw this dude. This dude's gonna catch fish for you. Let's keep fishing, see if we can catch some more before we head out of here. Check her out, just a chunky, chunky fish. Look at that. Gorgeous, gorgeous. The belly on this. All right, we're gonna get her go, let her go and uh, see and let her, like I said, continue the next generation. She was ready. She was ready to go. Boom, yes! I'm telling you, throw the Senko, man. Throw the Senko. Trust me, trust me. Get a Senko, throw it. Whew, I'm jacked up now. And I already gotta go. Dang it. Oh my god, oh, I got a stick. I could have swore it was a big fish. Look at that. Catch the big one. You throw Senkos, that's what you're gonna catch, man. You can catch the biggest sticks of your life. Whew. 